Hi everyone and welcome to my latest offering. So in this um, video I want to take you through making a USB uh, conversion for the Thrustmaster T3PA pedal set. Um, at the time of recording this video which is June 2020 we're in the middle of the COVID-19 lockdown and um, getting anything like the proper Thrustmaster adapter is uh, proving to be a nightmare. And uh, obviously there's a lot of enjoyment in making your own stuff. And uh, this probably, well I know for sure that this is based on the uh, same process for doing the um, USB conversion for Logitech. So this uh, idea will um, probably work on other pedals. But before we get into this video, I'd just really like to introduce you to our new website that's just gone. Uh, it's gpsimrigs.com. And on our site, you'll find uh, we're listing lots of different products uh, for sim racers. Okay, so the first step is to remove the base plate of the T3PA pedals. As you can see, highlighted here are the uh, 14 different screws that hold the plate on. Um, I've highlighted them because uh, some of them are, are not necessarily obvious. Okay, if you undo all of those screws and release the plate, then when you're in, once you've taken the um, plate off, you can take out, uh, unclip the plug and take out the um, cable completely. You just pull it off through the little silicon that they've used to hold it on. Once inside the um, main area of the pedals you'll see that you've got three potentiometers connected to each pedal base and they all connect to a small green circuit board which has a large six pin plug at the top and then the three small three pin sockets um, that go to each of the potentiometers for the pedals. Here you can see the pinouts for this little board You've got the six pins on the uh, main socket that we're interested in. So the first pin is 3.3 volts that, that you'll be providing uh, from the Arduino Pro micro board. The pin number two is the signal from the clutch potentiometer. Pin three is the signal from the throttle pot. pot. Pin four is the signal from the brake pot. And then the last two pins, pins five and six, are Co uh, they're all they're common ground pins and they go to the ground on the Arduino board. So the next thing to do is to cut yourself some probably four inch long tails from the um, wires that are listed in the description. Keep the female ends on, uh, cut them off and solder them onto the Arduino board. Soldering them on to these pins on the board so you've got VCC is what's providing the 3.3 volts. A2 goes to the um, throttle, A1 to the brake, A0 to the clutch, and then on the other side of the board, the two ground pins go to the two ground, common ground pins that are on the Thrustmaster board. So the next thing to do is to download the Arduino IDE software if you don't already have it. It's useful to have for uh, other projects so the links in the description simply go to that link and then click on to the download page. Uh, in my case we're looking to install the Windows installer. So at the top of there you've got Windows installer for Windows 7 and up. Download that and then the next thing you'll need to download is the joystick library. Again, the link's in the description. Scroll down and find the zip file. Extract it. Click Browse. And you need to put it into the Arduino Libraries folder, which you'll find in Documents, Arduino, Libraries, and then just Put the zip, extracted zip file into that. 
I've already extracted it so part you'd press extract and then we need to load the sketch onto the Pro Micro so find the downloaded um, five axis controller which again is included in the description uh, this is courtesy of a uh, M studio extract it anywhere is fine then find the extracted folder uh, keep clicking through until you find the sketch which will have the little Arduino logo beside it double click it and it will open the Arduino IDE and there it is uh, if you're f uh, familiar with Arduino you probably recognize the code if not don't worry you don't need to do anything with it so plug your um, USB cable the USB micro end into the Arduino and put the normal USB into your computer oh it's very important at this point to remind you that um, you need to have nothing connected to the board I had a little error trying to load the sketch to the board uh, with it all plugged into the uh, Thrustmaster board so just leave the wires as per the picture and then go to tools board and check that or connect to the Arduino micro from the list and then go port and connect to the COM port it'll only list the COM port that's, that it's available to so it shouldn't be a problem then click the arrow that is positioned to the right which upload, uh, just compiles the sketch and uploads it to the board it will take a few seconds you'll get some status indication at the bottom that says at the moment compiling sketch and then it will say uploading and when it comes back and says that uploading's done then that sketch has been uploaded to the Arduino and with power to the Arduino board it will run that sketch okay so that's done and we can close the sketch down So the next thing to do is to check that the pedals are now functioning and calibra calibrate them. In order to do this go to control panel and then uh, view devices and printers under the hardware and sound section and you'll see the Arduino micro listed under the devices right click on it and then go to game controller settings properties and you can see here that the top there shows you the different axes and three of those axes are for the pedals so the z-axis is for the clutch as you can see the x rotation is for the brake and the y rotation and it's also listed as throttle there for the throttle then go to settings calibrate next click next and again and once more then push the uh, clutch pedal to the floor and click next then push the brake pedal to the floor and click next and then finally the throttle to the pedal and press next and once more just press next and throttle to the floor and press next and finish that's calibrated all the pedals and as you can see if we press the pedals the sliders move up now all you've got to do is load the game so thanks everyone for watching please like the video and subscribe to the channel